Hey, are you like me and constantly struggling with the what next of life, especially with scuba diving? Well, strap on in. Today we'll be discussing the diver progression and I'll be giving my recommendations on how many dives you should be doing between each certification. Let's dive on in. water diving it takes zero dives to get involved with some people will do discover scuba beforehand or a try scuba depending on what agency you're with I will leave a link above future Jason be sure to uh, link that video yeah okay yeah I'll probably remember it I will remember it. with your open water certification it opens up the door to many specialties some of which are not necessary in progression but some are others are also required if you want to do you know specialized dives those would include include things like wreck and cave which we've discussed in previous videos which i'll leave linked below anyways specialties are great for building experience and just like with any training that you'll be doing you'll be doing it with professional and it'll help with your task loading skills some of the best parts of doing specialties is it gives you a wide array of tools that you can use as a diver anything from uh, photography to improving your buoyancy I cannot stress enough that they are not requirements necessarily to move on but they can help you improve and add to the number of dives that you have. Whether you decide to go through and get a bunch of specialties, or if you decide to just find a buddy and dive with them, getting at least 25 dives, it will be insurmountable in terms of skill progression and giving you a baseline for everything that you do from here on out. Advanced Open Water. It takes zero dives on top of your open water certification, However, like I said, 25 is a good starting point from here because while you may get the advanced certification, it doesn't guarantee that you are an advanced diver. An advanced diver is someone who has practiced their skills, they've sharpened them, and they're able to respond to various difficulties. This is largely a certification that the agencies put in place to give you a broad range of skills to work with. As mentioned before, there's a bunch of specialties that opened up with the open water certification, but whenever you go to do your advanced, you will do five specialty dives. That doesn't mean you'll have the certification, however, it does mean that you have the first dive in those specialties. These specialties, do have to include navigation and deep because once you are an advanced diver you are certified to a hundred feet you choose your additional three specialties and that can be anything from underwater photography uh, dive propor dive proportion dive er propulsion vehicles DPVs or uh, I don't know nitro or any of the number of specialties that are available again I will be doing a video on that later the important thing to note while doing your advanced open water dive is that it gives you a mixed bag of specialties and skills that you can work with in the future and it also gives you a taste of what you might want to do next my recommendation once you have your advanced is to get at least 50 dives total this will give you a good baseline from here on out in which case you will have experienced a number of mishaps you've probably made a few mistakes yourself and you've been able to learn from them and that is an invaluable asset as a diver and as a human being in general just to be able to learn from your mistakes so get out there and dive meet new buddies and build those relationships all right, the next level is Rescue Diver. Many people will tell you, and they are telling the truth, by the way, that this is the most rewarding certification for a recreational diver. It by no means makes you a public safety diver, but 
if an emergency happens, you will have the tools on your dive belt to be able to respond appropriately. And if there isn't a professional available, you would be the first line of defense until EMS gets there. While it requires zero dives to get started in, you do have to have your emergency first responder certification or an equivalent such as CPR. It also doesn't help, which a lot of agencies and dive shops will go ahead and bundle it, getting your oxygen provider certification as well. That is something that you'll have access to at just about most dive shops or dive boats. So it's not a bad idea to have that under your belt as well. You learn how to remain calm and respond appropriately without panicking yourself, which, you know, panic just creates more danger and we don't want to do that. I sincerely believe becoming a rescue diver should be top priority for a lot of people. If I could, I would definitely move this down a few notches and make it required or bundle it together with the advanced at least. It makes you a better diver and it makes you a better dive buddy. You become more situationally aware and you're able to pick up on things that you didn't quite see as an open water diver that help prevent emergencies. This is why I do recommend having 50 dives at least before going into this level because while it does definitely boosts that confidence in your skill level, it doesn't necessarily hone those skills. It gives you a, a new tool to work with, but you gotta practice with that tool to be competent with it. And we don't wanna be incompetent divers. We wanna be the best divers we can, right? My recommendation before moving on to the next step is going to be 75 dives. At this point, you should be diving as often as you possibly can, whether that is every time you go on vacation where feasible, or if you live by the ocean, get out there and dive. This is also a good starting point to volunteer at the dive shop if this is something that you really love. And I would hope that if you are going this far in your certifications, you are looking to push yourself and continually improve and a lot of dive shops are mom and pop shops that don't have a lot of funding coming in outside of dive trips and divers so if they let you and they're willing to work with you volunteer with them sometime learn some of the realms of being a dive professional then you get to move in as a dive professional, which we'll go into it in a future video. Okay, final level as a recreational diver before moving on to the pros. Before becoming a professional diver, a dive master, there is a master diver. And again, I will go over the differences between master diver and dive master in a future video. However, as a master diver, it requires a hundred log dives and five complete specialties. It is the creme de la creme of divers. If you got to this point, you are the most badass diver on the dive boat, right? There is no additional training for this level. All you have to do is submit your paperwork to the dive shop or go to whatever your agency's website is and they'll typically go ahead and issue your your certification card just like any other certification or specialty card. Let's get real here though for a second. There is a caveat to be called a master diver. A hundred dives is but a drop in the bucket for a true master. And I think that translates well into really anything that you go into. There's a lot of case studies and research out there that suggests X amount of repetitions of anything to become be considered a master or a professional but the whole idea is you have to fail so many times before you can become a professional or a master at anything my recommendation is at least a thousand dives before you truly consider yourself a master diver go ahead and get that certification card obviously once you hit your 100 dives and five specialties but Having that repetition and having the pool of experience to be able to 
pull from, <laughs> uh, is just priceless, and it's something that we all should be striving for to get out there and dive. So that is the diver progression in the recreational world. These are not hard and fast rules for myself as a poor college student trying to get into diving and not having a video like this to give me a clear idea of what I was doing. I kind of rushed into everything headlong and went more or less straight for my dive master. Could have taken the time to get more dives under my belt and to get that experience, which as I'm learning now as a professional, could have gone a long way. So learn from my mistakes and hopefully get more dives in and meet more people and build those bonds. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.